this is what's past as prologue. When I graduated from high school in 1952, up until that March, Spring Hill only had male students. So therefore, when they announced in March that female full-time students would be allowed to come to Spring Hill, then I changed my mind uh, because most of us, uh, our friends, you know, were coming out here too, and we thought that would be Mary is grateful for her Spring Hill education and the school's desire to give women the opportunity to further their education. During the 50s, only an approximate 2% of women from Mary's high school were attending college. We didn't have a lot of opportunities as far as going off to college was concerned. So when this opened up for the women, it was a tremendous help for me. I think it really did help us. It's very, very good. I've always the boys married. were certainly happy to see the girls on campus, but it wasn't because the new students were letting them win academically. In fact, most women took being outnumbered by the men as a challenge to show the importance of giving women the opportunity for furthering their education. I accepted it as a challenge because there had been only men out at Spring Hill for so many years that we felt it was a challenge and we would probably, like we were really going to show them that we could really be accepted out here and do as well as they did. Now almost 60 years later, the women on campus outnumber the men. They eventually came. Yes, I really think that that was the thing that, and I think probably the women now, are, the girls are great. I don't know whether they outnumber the boys, but they are a tremendous amount of girls up there. I think it has certainly, the enrollment for girls is really picked up. We outnumber the boys now. I thought you did. I wasn't positive about it. I thought maybe you did. <laughs> The men and women were able to interact through both a classroom setting and campus organizations such as the ROTC. I think we sort of interacted and that probably has a lot to do that there was an ROTC program out here at the time and quite a few of us were sponsors and we drilled with the uh, cadets on Friday afternoons, every Friday afternoon. The ROTC had social activities that we were able to participate in. I think it was probably a get together thing because I don't think the boys really knew how to experience girls being out here. And we didn't know exactly because I came from an all-girls Catholic school, so it was very different for me to have boys in the place. Because Spring Hill had just opened its doors to women, they weren't prepared to offer strictly women's sports during Mary's time on campus like they do now. They did, however, offer other activities specifically for women. Boys, tennis was a big thing. Right. Uh, I will mention that as religious-wise, we did have, and I don't know whether the Statue of the Blessed Mother is still over there, it was near the tennis court in a grotto. That's where we would say the rosary, and we also had retreats for the girls once a year. Not here, but off campus. Uh, usually, I know, I remember making one at the Providence Hospital when you know, we had the, uh, the sports here. But sports were mostly for boys. Until we Women may not have been able to participate in sports, but they were definitely able to dance. Some of Mary's favorite memories are of the dances and socials hosted by the ROTC. ROTC dances and uh, the interaction we had at that time because, you know, the war was going, the Korean war was going on at that time. So that was very, very special for us to be able to be prepared. But uh, those were the things I think the ROTC... Along with reminiscing about the fun she had as a Spring Hill student, Mary loves seeing how much the campus has grown. building structures because we were so limited when we were here, that it has just grown so very much so. Uh, you know, we even had, we still come to the baseball games that are here now, and we used to have to go right to McGill Institute to see the boys play when we were here to follow our favorite people. And, uh, but the building structures out here are tremendous. It's a walking campus, which is also really very unique. I think it's Mary is thankful for how well her Spring Hill education has prepared her for her future. In life, whether they be good, man or different, but I do think that it did prepare me very well to accept in a good way, maybe in a Christian way, what I could do and make a difference.